George, stay out of this. Their marriage is in enough trouble already. Oh, Louise! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Helen, I know what it must have looked like, but you made a big mistake. Yeah, I married you. <laughs> that girl you saw me with, she means nothing to me. What we were doing is strictly business. Business? How much did you have to pay her? I didn't have to pay her anything. She works for free? <laughs> yes. I mean, no. No, I mean, not for me. I had a look. I'm here with you. I'm not on the plane. That's just too bad, Tom, because if you were on the plane, at least you'd have a place to sleep tonight. Helen! Oh, what am I going to do? Well, the way I see it, Willis, you got two choices, the Holiday Inn or the YMCA. <laughs> George, don't be ridiculous. You believe me, don't you, Louise? Tom, if you say there was nothing to it, I believe you. But I'm not the one you have to convince. Oh, I wish Helen were as open-minded as you, Louise. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> Maybe if I spoke to Helen... Oh, would you? Oh, I'd be eternally grateful. Oh, I'd be forever in your debt. I'd be... I'd be able to sleep at home tonight. <laughs> I'll give it a try, Tom. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look, Willis, don't let this get you down. I mean, there's an easy way to get out of this. Oh? How? Just get a better lawyer than Helen. A lawyer? I, I don't need a lawyer. <laughs> the hell you don't. <laughs> you know the rules of romance. You want to play, you got to pay. <laughs> George, Helen and I are happily married. At least we were until this afternoon. Don't worry, Willis. I won't desert you in your time of need. Oh, thanks, George. After you get divorced, all your dry cleaning will be half price. <laughs> getting a divorce. Yeah, your girlfriend ain't gonna like that. She's not my girlfriend. I love Helen. What could I possibly want with Judy Smith? Hi, I'm Judy Smith. Well, Willis, if you don't know what to do with this, Helen ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Miss Smith, what are you doing here? Luckily, you told me you were going home. But how did you know where I live? Luckily, I had the office directory in my purse. But how did you know I'd be in this apartment? Luckily, the doorman told me. Mm, sounds like you had a lot of luck today. <laughs> Too bad I can't say the same for you. <laughs> hey, watch over seat. Oh, just a minute. George, what are you doing? She can't stay here. Why not? Because of you know who. Don't worry, Willis. God forgives everybody. <laughs> I'm talking about Helen. Look, don't worry about Helen. I was wrong. I know now there's no way that you and Judy could have had a, you know. <laughs> Thank you, George. I mean, one look at this fox, and I know there's no way that she would go out with a meatball like you. <laughs> Mr. Willis, what about our trip? Here, you go. If you hurry, you can still catch the last flight. But what about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. <laughs> But what will I tell J.R.? Look, dear, you tell J.R. that... Tom! <laughs> now, Helen, don't start jumping to conclusions. The only thing I'm gonna jump to is your throat. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to see my husband. Oh, is he your husband? Hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm her husband. What? You mean you two are... That's right, Miss Smith. Smith? Couldn't you two do better than that? <laughs> Helen, Miss Smith wasn't going to Mexico to be with me. She was going to be with somebody else. Yeah? Who? Oh, I can't tell you. Well, you've just told me all I want to know. All right, Helen, go ahead. There's no point in trying to hide it any longer. I've been madly in love with Judy for a long time now. You oh. have? Yes. Oh, Judy, from the first time I laid eyes on you, I knew I had to have you. Oh, I know what we planned in, in Acapulco. But when we get there, I'm not sharing you with anyone. But what will Mr. Kramer say? Mr. Kramer? <laughs> Are you messing around with Tom's boss? Not anymore, I'm not. Here, you keep this. I don't need the aggravation. My dentist is just dying to take me to Aspen. <laughs> what am I going to tell Mr. Kramer? Tell him I'm having my teeth fixed. <laughs> what does he think I am, a homewrecker? 